So my lovelies, let's get started, beautiful, magical souls. Welcome my love to group number one. So it's been quite long since I haven't done it like this. Let me know in the comments if you like me to shuffle in while well, I put it in fast mode when I edit the video and I put some nice music. And I'm going to keep going, shuffling other cards and information. Very beautiful, the cards that have come out. So first card that came out. Sorry, the angels are telling me before we get started. They want me to channel through the opalite. Okay, when I'm sensing when I'm getting this beautiful gem, is that okay it's because they're telling me to watch the eyes in this card of butterflies in gloom after sadness happiness and hope return and they're telling me that they're showing me your love's eyes and the upper light so i well remember guys that this is a general rhythm but if you feel because all of you guys come on all of you guys if you resonate with the type of work that i do is because you're intuitive as well and you know which messages are for you and i don't think it's the first time that you're receiving this information or, or maybe it is but you feel it in your soul in your heart that this is your truth so angels are telling me that the color of the eyes of your loved partner of your future love Many of you, it's your future spouse. Not all of you, but I sense many of you, you're going to marry this person. It's like really a very, 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 very light green or very, very, very light blue eyes. But really, a color of... I think that you've never seen... Or maybe you have seen some eyes with this color, like really light. And they look like... Some of them, are, they're telling me, group number one, that they look like angels or they look like fairies, or they look like even witches. I don't know. They have something in them, in all of them, in all of these soulmates in group number one, because I'm sensing soulmates rather than twin flame. I'm sensing like very unique and very special eyes. Very blue or very green? Light blue, light green. That's an element. Okay, my sweeties. Okay, my angels. So now let's continue. So after sadness, happiness, and hope return. Wasp spirit, sometimes life stinks and well it makes sense all of these cards that's why i like to shuffle in front of all of you guys so you see you see how everything makes sense five of pentacles many of you that you're already tarotists or you have watched so many readings that is like you are a tarotist as well this is luckness this is i feel i am left outside of society or i'm left outside of my family or i'm left outside of all of my dreams so these cards is telling me already that or you or you or you both or maybe that person that you're attracting in your life has just passed through a very sorrow period of time through a lot of sadness a lot of luckness you have i have to be sincere i think that in most of them it has been mostly fear rather than a reality because if we see this card and i know many of you Maybe you have seen it in other reader, readers that have explained this card. If you see these two characters, it seems like a mom and a son, or maybe two people that feel sick, feel alone. I am listening, feeling guilty. So maybe the love that you are attracting is somebody that his or her family made them feel very guilty or made them feel they were not good enough or they were not good enough to attain the dreams to manifest whatever they want to manifest that they didn't have what it takes to become successful and if it's not that that they don't have what it takes to attract the love of their life whatever but this card is talking about the two characters that are passing just in front of the church where they can find help where it is warmth it's not cold like outside that it has snowed where they can feel safe but they do not see it so that's why I'm telling you guys with these three cards, your, your, the love that you're attracting is somebody that I think, and because we are asking about love, I think that this person, as it says here, hope returns. This person 
must have been waiting for you for quite, quite, quite a long time, even years. And that's why it says the next card, new beginning. Thank you, angels, for opening up the doors to change and ready. So this is telling you already that this is a new person. This is telling you that this, this person suddenly, because I see here, I want to show you guys. Look at this. We see here the shadow of the angel. We see here the angel like, oh my gosh, there's hope. I see a new door. So I think that this person at last, maybe the moment that both of you guys, you meet each other or just before you meet, suddenly he or she will raise the vibration. Okay. And this is because they have coped with fear. They have coped with shadow work in a different way. What I'm listening my sessions from for all of you guys, group number one, is that at last there, I mean, I think that because I know how energy works, I, like all of you, if we are feeling like really depressed, it's very difficult to attract a very healthy and, and our soulmate. It, it makes sense because we are not vibrating the same frequency and it's like we cannot find each other. But I really think that just before, because of his or her team of angels, they are going to rise their vibration. They're going to start watching a lot of synchronicities, probably a lot of six, a lot of fives, a lot of fours, maybe you as well. I think that both of you, you're going to see like very important dates. Maybe if your favorite number, it's 888 or maybe it's 1212 or maybe it's threes. Then you're going to, to start watching that number like crazy and the love of your life as well. It's like the angels from your side and his her angels are preparing both of you for this encounter. Because if this person keeps with that vibration low, and maybe this is talking about some of you as well, maybe because of, the, of what has been going on around globally and it's still affecting us economically. Many people are losing their jobs. Maybe that's your case. I don't sense your loved one has left, has, has been fired. I feel that maybe it's some of you that you're passing through that situation. But remember, we pass through these tough situations because something better is awaiting for us. And these are tough lessons that it's making us grow and evolve and be ready for something bigger and something that is more in touch and more aligned with our soul. So I tell you, my loves, that the loved I think that this is great that the person that you are attracting in your life has already done, at last has started their shadow work and that has made them at last understand themselves better. So your partner right now has hope or is there, I think that they already have hope because I really think my sunshines that both of you, you are very, very close. I really think that from three months to four months, mm, the latest, Remember, this is a general reading, but I really think that all of you guys, if you're working yourselves, if you're doing meditations, if you are being aware of vibration, like the partner that you are attracting, both of you probably by four, some of you, some four days, because maybe you have just met them, okay? Because this is a new beginning and it's telling me that maybe some of you have already met online or have met through work or have met through an investment or have met through a community. I just like many different ways of meeting and, it, if, and if it hasn't happened already, this is coming. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize the spirits were talking to me. Yes. One, two, three, four. I was watching the four of the emperor, which is Aries. <laughs> Aries. And again, I tell you, yeah, guys, yes, I think that you're going to see a lot of fours and four months since the moment you see this reading. Probably, probably, or you're already going to be going out together and that's going to make them feel amazing. I think that all of you guys, you have the ability to make people feel comfortable. Even if you're not passing through a very good moment, even if you are still like this, like I don't have enough money, I feel sad, where's the love of my life? I don't have friends right now that I can trust. I sense all of you guys and wow, you are like, you're going through, and I'm feeling goosebumps when I'm connecting with all of you, my loves. You're connecting through such a deep transformation. That's why the butterfly. I think that many of you, you work with butterflies, fairies, nature entities. Very interesting. Even some of you, you're working with... Okay, how can I say this? Please. <laughs> I don't want anyone to be angry. I didn't know about, about this until... I, I mean... Yes, I know, but I, I received that message from another healer, okay? I, I don't follow her anymore, but it's true that she talked about how black angels, 
she called him like that, how he was helping her, but she was working with Lyme. So I really feel that maybe some entities that they're supposed to be toxic and negative and bad, they work with light and the community does not know about that. Does it make sense? I know that this type of, of things happens uh, in humanity. So why shouldn't it happen over there? Okay, my loves. So if it's not you, okay, because I'm sensing here there are a lot of medium psychics. Rather than healers, I sense more mediums and psychics. And all of you, as I was telling you, my loves, you have that ability to make people comfortable, although you're not passing through a really, really good moment in your life. All of you, you're highly, highly, highly empath. All of you, you vibrate from your heart chakra. I see green here. I see green here. I see green here. All of you, you are somebody that you know how to make people to have hope, although you may be <laughs> deep inside of you, you are struggling with hope. That's beautiful. That says a lot about all of you and you should be very happy about that. You should really give yourselves a hug and tell you, oh my gosh, I'm amazing. <laughs> okay, my loves. And thank you, angels, for op opening up the doors to change. I am ready, absolutely. So both of you, you're ready for this relationship. And it's curious because I don't see the circumstances like perfect economically, at least for one of the two. I don't see the situation perfectly, maybe in the job where they are right now, or maybe in the job where you are. I don't see like neither or both you're quite happy, but it's like Angel Sunday says, okay, it's like the judgment card, like, okay, we are going to do something. I, we want them to find each other. Because this is good for them and this is good for the collective. So I sense like suddenly your angel and the love of your life, their angel, the guardian angel. Sometimes we have more than one, okay, my loves. And let me know in the comments if you want me to do a video about angels uh, to explain more stuff. And they have said, okay, enough. Now they're going to find each other. Now they're going to feel like in heaven and that's going to raise even more the vibration. And that's going to change automatically in three months all of their life for better. Maybe one of the two wins the lottery. Maybe one of the two it gets hired in a really good company. Maybe one of the two goes viral in your YouTube channel, in their YouTube channel. There are many possibilities, okay? Suddenly, both of you guys, you have realized that you have been living a lot through fear. I think that one of the two, at least, has been more aware of that. And I think it's most of you guys. Maybe it's some of them, or maybe it's both. But I sense most of you guys, you're aware of the situation. And that's why whenever you are feeling low, you tell yourself, it's fear. It's the density of the collective. Many people are dying, and it's true. Many people are living, the, are living this plane. So it's understandable that sometimes we have the vibration really low because when we sense those changes, when we sense those losses, it affects us. But it's true. Again, I tell you, whatever situation you are right now, maybe you're not in your highest moment emotionally, economically, even physically, you don't see yourself perfect to find the one or to go out with the one. I'm not telling you that you have to have the perfect body, but come on, guys. Let's be sincere. I think that all of us, all of us, I am older than most of you guys, but all of us, when we meet somebody, we want to look our best and we want to feel good. And we're humans. And right now, the period of time that we're passing through, many people have has gained weight. And it's understandable. There's a lot of stress. Or many people have lost too much weight. So do not worry about anything at all. I'm listening from spirits because it's a yes it's a yes and a yes, yes outcome. Okay, my love, a win-win, a win-win outcome. And the wasps, I think that many of you have been visited by wasps. When I see the feathers, probably your guides are communicating with all of you, my angels, through feathers. I'm going to put a little bit of more light. And the next one, the emperor. I think that for sure, if not 100%, or he or she is a fire element, okay? The partner that you are attracting is for sure Aries, or it could be Leo and Sagittarius, okay? Because more or less the fire element, it's somebody that has more or less, it's not that all of them, they have the same traits, but all signs that are fire element, they are quite similar, okay, my sunshine? So this person, I can tell that you, the love of your life, because I'm sensing it's the love of your life, is very, very, very connected to his, her dad. Their dad for them, it's like even, almost God. 
So imagine how they look at their dad and their mom. Some moms I feel they're alive and others I feel they are not alive or they have abandoned the family. So it makes sense why this person has been struggling so much. Okay, it makes sense because when we come from a lot of trauma, it's difficult for us to manifest in a positive way because that gets stuck in our unconscious mind. You're attacking somebody very sensitive. Somebody, I think that you've never in your life have gone out with somebody with such sensitivity, but not someone that is always crying. No, I don't know why sometimes some people tend to associate he or she's sensitive, they cry a lot and they behave like a victim. No, he or she's sensitive. In what sense I am saying that? That, yes, yeah, sometimes maybe they watch a movie, they feel like, oh, and I think that most of you guys, you feel the same. Certain scenes, maybe your families that are torn apart or somebody that loses somebody, unconsciously is triggering what they passed through when they were a child. And I tell you, maybe they cry with certain movies, and at the same time, I tell you the positive side that they're highly creative. They love beauty they, and they love personalities, good personalities. They love good people. Okay. This is the type of person that when they meet good people, whoa, they really appreciate it. And they are very faithful and loyal to their, to their people. Okay. This is somebody that would jump from a bridge to, to help any, and even not only his or her friends, but anyone. I sense, I am listening from spirit and I'm feeling goosebumps that some of them, even they have avoided source people that have tried to take out their life because they were very depressed. Some of them, they're therapists and they're working with people that are very depressive or that they have lost somebody and they are in, in that sorrow, in that grief and they're suffering. Some of them, they're teachers. Some of them, they're coach. Some of them, they are Mm, they have their own team and they have a lot of emotional intelligence and that's why they're so good at telling people that are not good, people that are good, people that are not working, people that are fake, people that are natural. So this is, you know, I think that you understand me guys, let me know in the comments. I, I consider myself very sensitive. I have to be very sensitive in order to connect with spirit, of course. But, and I think most of you guys, you're, you're sensitive as well. But I feel that at least from one of the two sides, one it's stronger emotionally, okay? I'm not telling you that the other person is always crying and no, they are strong as well. But at least one of the two is like the strongest and the other one is like a little bit like following a little bit the other one. I'm not telling you guys that both of you have personalities, of course, but I sense like one of the two is going to be these areas, okay? Maybe it's some of you, you are areas, or maybe some of you, you are natural leaders, even inside of a relationship. It's not that you are bossy, but you like to organize, or you like, but I don't see any type of control coming from both, neither of both sides. I hope I'm explaining myself correctly. <laughs> okay, my angels. So, <laughs> so the key was swords. I like the energy from both of you. You're going to be such a beautiful, 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 beautiful couple. And, and your family is going to tell you that they adore your next couple. They adore, they are going to tell you, take care of this person. It's, you are not going to meet somebody so good like this person. And, and nobody's going to treat you so good like this person. And you're going to sense that as well. You're going to go like, whoa, I have liked the type of person I have attracted to my life. And spirits are telling me that many of you, you have passed through a very similar situation, or maybe you have such a high, high, high emotional intelligence as beautiful star sits that all of you, and I think that most of you, you're Andromedan, okay? I'm watching the angel, I'm watching the angel. And I think that both of you, your origin is Andromedan star set. King of swords, you know, guys, it's your element which is thought and it's Aquarius Libra Gemini. This person is very quick. I tell you, it's very quick at observing people and, and telling this person lies. This not. This person is passing through a sad moment. This person is very intelligent. This person lies. This person, I can trust this person. So they are very quick. They're very smart. You are attracting somebody very smart. And I really think that most of you, most of you guys know, I think all of you guys, you are very smart and intelligent as well, but more, f more than the media. Okay. Um, I even think that one of the two, at least, and I think it's many of them, they really had really high scores at university. All of them, they have finished university. Just in case you want to know about that. They love to read. 
they love music as well. Sometimes I sense that I am watching through images that the spirits are showing me. Some of them, they love to, to travel, okay? They love to travel. And this is something that both of you guys, you're going to do a lot. Look at the angel, look at the wasp and the sword. So this is telling me that many of you, uh, you're going to meet online mostly i believe online or or they're going to travel to your city or you're going to travel to the city because of your job or because of holidays and that's a situation i am i am listening serendipity yes because i'm watching the butterfly yes it must be that through traveling or online both of you guys you meet each other that's nice I think that one of the two it's one of the two is going to stir a lot the other one because I'm watching the Emperor and the other one is going to make the first move. Maybe it's some of you that you're going to make the first move. I think that some of you sometimes you're shy, but when you like some somebody, whoa, you transform yourself in this king of sword. Wow, amazing. I like it. Okay, let's go with the next cards, my beauty. So, actions speak louder than words. And I love this card. Uh, let me know, guys. I really, I think it's so important to meet people that not only say I love you, but they demonstrate it with each of their actions. I think this is very important. <laughs> if you want to know what someone is feeling, watch what they are doing. Remember what I was telling you that this person is going to watch you? And you are going to approach or you're going to talk or you're going to smile. And I tell you, my love, maybe this person is not the typical person that tells you every day or several times a day. I'm not telling you they're not going to do that because this is a general reading. But I'm sensing this type of person is more than I demonstrate you by preparing a surprise in your birthday. And we go, for example, we go to Paris because you always wanted to visit Paris and nobody... And you never went to Paris. I mean, this is the type of person, okay? This is the type of person, although he or she seems like quite quiet, calm down. They act like this. And I'm feeling goosebumps. They are like, mm, in this case, like the king of swords. Like, okay, I love her. I love him. What can I do to surprise him? Or what can I do that it's going to make their life easier? What, what can I do to know him or her better? So this is a person that it's going to make a lot of effort to know you. They're going to make you a lot of questions. You're going to realize, not because, I think that you're not used to that. Group number one. You're not used to a type of person, and it's not like they're observing and they're analyzing like, a manipulative or a narcissist that they do that as well they observe so they know where are your weak points no 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 they they are observing and asking you you're going to sense that they really want to know you <laughs> i think this is nice and again actions speak louder than words so this person at first is not going to be so talkative but it's going to be so through actions even some of you you're going to think that maybe this person is not really interested in you because they're not showing you maybe the way you are used to in the past but those people at the end oh my gosh the stuff that they did to all of you so again i think this is great they are going to demonstrate through actions distance the separation you're experiencing is necessary to help the relationship grow so what it's telling me that maybe in the beginning, both of you, you don't live in the same city. So it was making sense what we were channeling that maybe because of a trip of holidays or because of a job of your career, one of the two has to make a short trip or a long one. And, the, and both of you in the beginning, you're going to be distant. But let me tell you, my love, because I sense that some of you, you have promised, I will never, ever, you have claimed, I will never ever go out with someone that lives in a different country i'm sorry my love some of you <laughs> you are going but really it's not going to be like the other relationships i know it's not for all of you but i know many of you you have claimed or you have promised yourself not to repeat this situation again but do not worry because this is somebody that you can trust this is somebody so it's making sense why he or she's going to make such a big effort they're going to spend a lot of money okay to see you to visit you or they're going to buy you the, the ticket flight or the train so you come to visit them 
and I sense this is somebody very generous. So I really feel that this lackness of money, it's not that they are missing, that they are they're in lackness of money. No, I sense that they, it would, this is talking more about fear of not meeting you or not having the chance to find you. Oh, I sense that this person is so romantic. Suddenly I, I'm feeling emotional because I'm sensing the person that you're attracting is so beautiful inside. And I didn't say it, my gosh, of course the chariot. <laughs> when I begin channel life, I don't look at the cards. And of course, the chariot is telling you that probably both of you, you meet through traveling, through a trip. And maybe it's not because it's holidays, at least for one of the two. But this person, I tell you that when you meet them, he or she is going to be very balanced. Okay. And again, this is telling me because of the black, uh, of the black lion and the white uh, lion, which reminds me of the figures of Egypt, that probably both of you guys, you have met in Egypt in many of your past lives. And maybe it's one of the trips that both of you are going to make when the when this situation gets better. That it that it will. We see a lot of. You see how many feather, how many wings from angels. Both of you, you are Andromedans for sure. But it is true that Atlantis and 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 Egypt is important for both of you. I sense that in the in the medieval age, you have been going out many times, many past lives in medieval age in France. If I said before Paris is because of something of your past lives in France, in Belgium, Australia, I'm listening as well, India, Tokyo, I'm listening, mm, and some parts of South America. So in the beginning, there may be traveling, but do not worry because this is just, this is just a, a, a circumstance for maybe four months, the latest, they're telling me again. So let's see what the message says, my beauties. The past is now behind you. Wow. Release it and embrace new possibilities. And again, they're telling you that this person is completely new. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So spirits are telling you because both of you at the end, you never lost hope. Although you felt that, oh my gosh, I'm not going to find the one. This is too, being too difficult for me. What's going on right now? What's going on around globally? How, how can I find the one? How can I find if I merely can move from this from my city? But yes, my love, when the angels want you to do something, they want you to meet that person. Nobody will stop you. And don't worry, because and again, I'm listening serendipity and the spirits are, and your team of guides are telling you the past is now behind you. So this is not an ex. This is not somebody from the past. OK, no. And I think that many of you had to clear out a lot of energy from a wasp ex that was not very nice with you was very selfish with money mm. and they were a little bit gray they were very negative okay and you needed to cut that with that ex and i think that maybe this is a situation for both of you but again i tell you it's part of your path you're ready for this wow and i'm very happy for all of you let me shuffle more in front of you I am loving your reading. This is like, like very real. I'm not saying that whenever I receive the messages, oh my gosh, I forgot the candle. Let me put it. Hope returns. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm shouting a lot. It's because the neighbors are with the party right now. And that's one of the reasons that I'm moving from this area because of the neighbors. Eight of Cups. Oh my gosh. When I, maybe I was telling you because some of you have the same problem and you're just going to move. Good for you. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my gosh. Eight of Cups. And your loved one. He or she perceives that you are not living where they live. And he or she is looking far away. And they're willing to cross these mountains, whether it rains, whether it snows, whether they, even if they don't have food, they are going to make all of this just to find you. I see here, sorry guys, I forgot, cups, it's water element, it's Pisces, it's Cancer, and it's Scorpio. But I see the moon, so probably, or oh, you have in your chart Cancer, or they have a lot of, of Cancer, it makes sense why they, why I sense them so sensitive. And this is a person that it's willing to give you everything, everything, really, everything. Really, my loves, you know that I'm always very sincere and I do channeling from um, your guides and my guides. 
And I think that you've never, never, ever, 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 I think I, in my case, I've never found somebody so good and sensitive like the energy. But if you are attracting somebody like this, it's because you're embracing that energy because you are a very good person and you need it to heal your past like he or she has done. And both of you, you're sensing each other. You're sensing it. You, I think that you're dreaming with this person. I have to be, tell you guys that sometimes we we dream with our loved one with different physical traits, diff, uh, with different physical appearance, even ages. Why? Because your soul remembers that person in many past lives. Does it make sense? <laughs> it's because I asked my guides, that happened to me, a few months ago that I suddenly I was I was dreaming with somebody but it was different the physical appearance the age and I asked my angels and they told me no it's the same soul you perceive it it's a very strong connection but you are remembering how they looked in many of your past lives does it make sense <laughs> okay my loves sorry my loves and before I continue my gosh Eight of Cups, many of you, you already know that this is like leaving something or leaving a place. This is trip as well. We have trip here. We have here somebody flying. We have here somebody that it's talking about abandoning. So this is telling you again, my love, that I'm very sure. I'm very sure if you resonate with all of the messages that you're going to meet because one of the two has to leave their city because you go on holidays or he or, she, or your loved one goes on holidays or you have to travel because of work or maybe it's their case. Okay, my love? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy for all of you. <laughs> uh, I love to see all of you guys to find love. Wow, oh my gosh. And this is the Knight of Pentagrams. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Oh my gosh. This person is very, very attractive. Whether you want to meet a man or a woman, very light blue eyes, very light green eyes, and very blonde. I am watching with the wasp, with the coins, with the gray hair. Maybe some of them, they have a little bit of gray hair. Or they're very blonde. Do you know guys that type of color? I love that type of color. Is it called blondie? I know that very a lot of people from Norway, they have that blonde that it's quite even, it seems like white. And I know some people turn their hair like that. And they go to the hairdresser and they change the hair color. But this person for sure is very, 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 very blonde. Very blonde. Or hazel. It could be hazel as well. Okay, let's see this. Wow. A knight of pentagrams. What did I tell you? Knight of pent pentacles. This person is highly protected. I really believe that he or she has been a sorcerer in many of their past lives. Because this is the pentagram of the Wiccan. If some of you are Wiccan witches, hello. <laughs> or you're interested. Because I'm working with symbols, sometimes it's one of my services. This is the 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 yes, the weakened symbol of protection, and it's very very powerful. So this person is somebody that is going to protect you always, always. You're going to be first. I mean, maybe even in some situations that he or she may think that you were not right in a situation that maybe they see you react a little bit over too over much. I don't know if it's said correctly, but I know you understand me, guys. But they're not going to tell you anything in front of people. Maybe they're going to tell you, he or she is going to tell you when both of you are in a private place. And so this is the type of person that it's very sincere. And I think all of you guys, you are the same. I think both of you, you are somebody that you can tell that you are a very, there's a lot of justice in the way you behave, in the way you vibrate. And again, as we see the blue, Atlantis, Egypt, and a lot of Wiccan, Wiccan witches, Maybe some of you, you are a Wiccan witch or you perceive yourself as a witch or a sorcerer from past lives. And this person as well, they feel very attracted to witchcraft. Very attracted. Okay, my angel, that's nice. Okay, my sweeties, I want to shuffle. Okay, now let's go with the physical traits, shall we? Okay, let's see about the hair. Okay. Long hair, and we see here, long hair. Long hair, long beard, <laughs> long hair. <laughs> so it makes sense, long hair, okay? So your person, whether you want to marry a man or a woman, he or she has very long hair or quite a long hair, okay? Let's see about their height. Average height, okay, so if you live in Germany, then he or she is quite tall. If you live in South America, not very tall. If you live in Spain, not very tall. <laughs> the average here is not very tall. Okay, my loves. 
Well, the young ones right now are very are getting taller. Are they getting taller as well where you live? So average height where you live, long hair, wavy hair, and we can see this here. We can see this here. We can see this here. So everything is making sense. Okay, my loves. I'm going to put it here so you watch it better, my loves. Sorry, it's because I have the iPad up there. I don't. I'm not watching constantly the screen. I want you to feel comfortable watching the... Okay, let's see about the eyes. Let's see if, if it comes out. Blue eyes, what did I tell you? Oh, very blue eyes, but I think it's very blue or very green eyes. Okay, nice. Let's see about the color of the skin. From what I'm watching here... Mm -mm, mm -mm. I think that... I see, I, I see here very toned and I see here very pale, so... Maybe it's talking about that one of the two is very pale and the other one is very toned, toned, has toned skin. Dark skin, okay. So we have dark skin, but they're telling me to shuffle another one. And tan olive skin. So, so his, her skin, do you see it if I put it here? His, her skin is tan olive skin, very beautiful. Or dark chocolate, nice. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Let's see more about the hair. Black hair, okay, some of them they have black hair, but I tell you guys, I tell you that many of them they have blonde hair because I'm watching in the cards, okay? And red hair, okay, yes, we see here brunette, okay. And bald head, okay, my loves, where is the blonde hair? <laughs> Okay, it's not coming out. Okay, so we have a little bit of everything. But to tell the truth, guys, I think that some of you have black hair and some of you have red hair. But I really think 99%, I really am sure, that they have very blonde hair. <laughs> or hazel. <laughs> okay, my sweeties. <laughs> Spirits, I don't like you when you do that. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see more about their personality. So a loner, what did I tell you guys? Right now, there I didn't tell you. Right now, your future spouse, for many of you, and your next love, it's, it's single right now, and they feel alone, they miss you. They want to really meet you. Shy, what did I tell you? That in the beginning, they're going to act like shy, and I think that most of you guys, you're going to do, or you're going to smile, or you're going to talk, or you're going to approach them, reserved. So in the beginning, you can tell that they are shy or reserved or they're looking at you, but they're like, they, they like you too much. I think that all of them, they like all of you guys too much. And it's like, they're like, has it happened to you that suddenly you, you see somebody that oh, you like a lot and you, you freeze? <laughs> I think this is what's going to happen to your, to your love. Oh, they're cute. Casual dresser and somebody very loving, of course. I mean, it makes sense, right? So you're attracting in your life somebody very loving, very tender, ah, and happy. So this person is going to make you very happy, and you're going to meet them in this period. What we when we said that at last they're vibrating higher and they're feeling happier, and it makes sense. That's why in that moment, both of you guys, you're going to meet each other. And contemplative, and we talked about that, that they're going to look at you in a very intense way. Okay, my sweeties. Before we finish, I want to shuffle the zodiac signs, just to do confirmations. Okay, Jupiter has come out, so this is somebody, physically they are very, he or she is very um, fit, okay? They are very, very fit. So it comes out Virgo. Cancer again, so cancer, cancer for sure, and we saw that before. And Mercury, okay. I think that Jupiter White has come out um, with Mercury. So that this somebody, this is somebody that is going to fight for your love, okay. Again, they're going to make a lot of effort. Let's see because I bought these new cards that are for in reality for to, for kids to play, but you know, guys, that I use many elements to help spirit send us the information wow okay i will get all of this that has just jumped so let's see so we have seven here we have d okay maybe some of them they live 
<laughs> in a house which is the seventh and Pdordi. <laughs> P V I am listening Daniel, Victoria, Victory. So this is going to be a successful relationship. R Robert, Roberto, Raul. Set. Okay. And I'm going to shuffle as well my loves. I'm going to put the R here. And I'm going to put this here. Okay. And I'm going to shuffle some of these as well. Okay, my loves. Which are some letters. Again, K, I'm watching night. So he is going to be a gentleman. If you want to meet a woman, she's very elegant. Joe, okay. So maybe some, if you want to meet a man, they called him Joe. We hear, we see a nest. Maybe some of them, they have a son. H, P, another P. Pablo, Peter, R, okay. Josh, I am listening. We see here Josh very clearly. What else am I watching? Mm. Maybe, the, maybe there's in seven days, some of you you're going to meet seven weeks, seven months. Even it could be that this person ha has been born in 87 for some of you, 77, 97, 67, 57, 8, M, Margaret, Mandy, Luis, Luis, Leah. And Lenny, you see that in a name? Net, okay. Oh my gosh, here's important. Some of you you're going to meet through network. Okay. G, Guillermo. You tell me guys, if you don't mind writing down what you see, because I, I, don't, I don't know all of the names over there in English in your country but i'm sure you're watching something something or a city or a phrase that can help somebody else that has chosen the same group like you maybe you're watching a city as well where you're going to travel wow and et <laughs> it starts it <laughs> okay my cities oh my gosh i hope you have liked it if that's the case give me a like leave me a comment tell me where you live i, lo I love to read the cities it's like i am going over there Whenever you tell me, I'm from Brazil, oh, Brazil, or you, I'm from New York, I'm from India. Oh my gosh, I love all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You have all my all of my services. And remember, if you want to purchase any of my gemstones yearly to help you manifest, you have everything down below. Namaste. I'm so happy for all of you. Bye, my sweeties. hello hello welcome group number two oh my gosh and you chose the amethyst the dragon point i believe it's called the dragon point i love it i think it's very magical and because all of all the cards that you have chosen before i get started and doing the interpretation of all of the cards i have to tell you my love that you're attracting into your life a fairy tale story or a story a movie that you love about disney or maybe it's not disney for example, Beauty and the Beast, this is showing me that you are going to manifest a love story that is related with cartoons, maybe something that you watch when you were a child, about two other different characters in love. There's something that you, that you like about a love story, uh, probably the Disney, or if it's not Disney, something similar to the Beauty and the Beast. Okay, my sweeties, and let's go with the cards that it came out for all of you, Magical Souls. Beauty and the Beast, you need some space in a relationship. Flow, find an easier path forward, surrender the outcome, release your expectations. Break the chain. This is a very powerful, very powerful card to break the karma from family ancestors ancestral patterns healing rewriting re their future so this is telling me that some of them they are writers or they write in blogs or they have to write a lot in the computer because of their job okay my loves maybe a programmer maybe they have their own website and they have to update the website and they have to to talk even through a lot of emails in his or her email list with their clients 
strength. Amazing. This talent, this talent will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gifts in this situation and then the ever folding rose. Oh, I love this card. It's so, it's so beautiful. Let me show it to you guys. Can you see it? Oh, I love it. This reminds me of Spain. Suddenly I'm, I'm listening. Ole. <laughs> <laughs> the ever unfolding rose cracked open it's happening for you not to you and this is a very i think that that's a very typical phrase that we listen in spirituality then difficulties let me show you the messages jealousies from other may serve as obstacles to the success of this connection new love a new chapter begins whether it is with a new partner or in a current relationship Okay, then we have inner peace, love and flow. Amazing cards, this three, very good. And this is talking more about the future. I think that this card is telling me a lot about what you both have passed in the past with an ex. At least I think that it's talking more about you guys rather than them about difficulties with an ex. Somebody that you had, maybe some of you, you were married with somebody in the past or you're still married and you're getting divorced, or this is a confirmation from spirit that you need to, to you need to get a divorce, you need to leave. Because it's been very, very toxic, that person for you, and you don't deserve it. And keep the doors open, pay attention to red flags. I really think, because I'm watching and I'm feeling goosebumps, the red rose over here, the road roses over here, so this is a very clear synchronicity. I think that spirits are talking to all of you guys about this loved connection through roses, through flowers, even through smells. So pay attention, as it says, to the red flags. Now the warning signs of what are an unhealthy connections look like and i think this is talking again about an ex or somebody that you're going out with right now or you are focusing your energy in somebody that it's very toxic for you keep the door open so spirits are telling you that don't be so focused on a closed door that you don't see the the ones which open for you and again here it says cracked open very interesting wow very intense <laughs> This reading is going to be quite intense. Okay, my sweeties, I'm going to interpret it. I'm going to channel, 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 sorry, channel at the same time. So what I can tell my loves is that, okay, I'm going to ask spirit how you are going to meet both of you or how you have just met. Spirits are telling me that many of you, you're going to meet through a family member that you're going to go out with or somebody that gives you in a piece. So, if you go to a restaurant where they have fishes, <laughs> like these ones, uh, maybe if it's not a Chinese restaurant, an exotic restaurant, or a, or a nice chill out restaurant, or a fancy fashionable restaurant that they have nice flowers or nice fishes, <laughs> beautiful, sorry, nice fish. How can I say this? But you understand me, guys. So I think that this is a sign that you are going to be in a place that you feel at peace you are going to feel relaxed so probably you're going to go to that place i think that it's going to be a restaurant yes because i see here that you are going outside so this is a place that it's outside there are more people they have nice flowers or it's like a sort of because here again there are flowers which is telling me that probably you're going to meet or in a beautiful park or garden that there are a lot of flowers and maybe you're going to have a tea or a coffee it reminds me uh, suddenly of, of UK, of England, because when I have gone there in the past and I have visited like little castles or cottages or even museums, there's always a nice place where you can have a tea or a coffee or drink, a nice cake. So I believe that it's a tea or coffee shop or it's a garden that you can sit down and have a nice drink. Um, sparking water or maybe you want a beer or, or a glass of wine that you can order too and if it's not that I sense like a restaurant so for sure somewhere that it's nice whether it's inside you have to go inside of the restaurant but they have a nice terrace or whether you go to a beautiful garden or a beautiful museum or somewhere that you know you're going to visit or maybe one of your friends is going to tell you because I tell you my loves here I see two here I see one here I see two. Some of you, maybe you're alone when you meet this person or both of you, you're alone. 
or one of the two is with somebody else that could be a best friend, a colleague from work at work as well. It could be that maybe you finish you finish your work and you want to chill out and you go with one of your colleagues or one of your best friends or one friend and maybe even the group of of your team okay of your team of work and you go to chill out and you're relaxed and you're flowing and this nice conversations so because this is a general reading it's it's understandable that the spirits are telling me several situations but for sure i tell you that it's in a restaurant in a nice garden that has beautiful flowers roses or in a romantic place or it's a place that you sense that it reminds you of again a disney movie or a fairy tale story I mean, do you know group number two any type of any kind of place, or maybe you don't know that place yet because you're going to be invited by someone to go over there. And when you step inside or step in that restaurant or in that coffee shop, you're going to say, "Oh my gosh, this reminds me of that movie that I saw, or that romantic or that comedy movie, or this reminds me." You know, there's going to be that feeling of romanticism, fairy tale, magic, inner peace. It's a place that has really good vibes, okay? It's not a place that has low vibration or density. Because I really think that both of you, you're highly, highly, highly sensitive to energies. I am listening from spirit. It's not only that you're empaths, you're highly sensitive. Maybe you're highly... Does that exist emotionally, highly sensitive? Let me know in the comments, guys. But you are very sensitive toward energies and even towards smells. Because I'm watching here the flowers. We have to smell the flowers. and But you feel good. You feel really, you feel at peace. You feel, you feel that you vib you're, you're vibrating from unconditional love. You know what I mean? I have been in some places, like all of you guys, some places are really low vibration and it's like, oh my gosh, I feel that I need to run. I need to escape from this place. Like from people that are very toxic or that people that has low vibration entities and you can sense it because they can scare you or, the, or you can feel that darkness inside and outside of them. Okay, because sometimes we are being manipulated by spirits. But because all of you guys, you are aligned with love and you are aligned with light, that will not, never happen to all of you, neither the love of your life, okay? And as I was telling you, my loves, this is a place that really you feel at peace, at ease, and you feel like it's magic. You're going to feel a magical place. So it's not a coincidence that I felt drawn for group number two for all of you guys to choose the deck of the unicorns, the magical oracle of the unicorns. And again, probably you f you love unicorns or you have been receiving a lot of messages or somebody has given you maybe your kid because some of you I know that you have children or maybe some of them they have children or maybe it's your niece. They have given you a picture of a unicorn. This is important. This is important. If somebody, or if you buy something somewhere and in the sticker of thank you, there's a unicorn or the label, there's a unicorn or maybe your business, there's a unicorn. This is a big sign that you're very close if you haven't met him or her yet. Okay, my loves, maybe some of you you have just met and this is the confirmation of what you have been feeling. I think that sometimes all of you guys, you feel that you aspire for too much. No. Spirits wants me to tell all of you, my beautiful souls, that you don't aspire for too much. You came here to shine. You came here to be with somebody that really allows you to open up yourself completely like a flower, like a beautiful flower. You deserve a relationship with both of you. You nurture one and another. It's like when you go to the garden, we give nice water <laughs> for the flowers to grow. And this type of person that you're attracting is somebody that it's going to nourish your garden, nourish your imagination, nourish your heart. This is somebody that it's going to take care of your heart. So you at last, you're going to feel that at last I can open my, uh, um, I can, sorry, I can open up myself. At last, I feel free. <laughs> at last I'm flowing. At last, I can be myself. So probably all of you guys, you, you came from a very, 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 very tough past or very tough relationships in general. Even it could be colleagues from work, friends, um, even family members, or maybe it's your ex or a several exes, because it's many of you that really made you feel very uncomfortable and made you doubt yourself.
that spirit wants me to remind you my love that everything that you have passed through just before you met this incredible person this incredible soul i even think that both of you you passed through the same you chose to at, to at last break the chain of karma from your ancestors and your family she looks like a plegidian so i think that Mm, maybe some of you, you look like Pleiadians, or you're working consciously with Pleiadians, or you, your star seed, uh, your star seed origin. Some of you, your Pleiadians, and others, you come from Orion, and they're showing me the cuts. So maybe some of you, you are, I cannot remember the name of that, that type of uh, of star seeds that they're related with cuts. You know what I mean. I, many of you, you know about this. And at last you have done it. At last you have cleaned and released yourself, or maybe you're just about to clean and release yourself from a very tough situation in general or someone specifically in your life. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize. I know many of you have realized. <laughs> flow and flow twice. So both of you, you and this very special and magical soul, both of you, you were meant to be together I am listening, oh my gosh, and I'm feeling goosebumps, at the end of the tunnel. You have been through a lot of darkness, I am listening from spirit, but, you never, but, but hope never left you. You always had faith, and faith, whether you are in Buddhism, whether you, you believe in God, whether you believe you are Catholic, whether you are from Islam, whether you are Jewish, you always felt the, oh my gosh, I'm going to get emotional. You always felt the hand of God showing you the way, showing you the light, showing you the signs, showing you how beautiful and magical that you are inside, showing you that you are beauty. You are not a beast. You're not horrible. You're not someone strange. You are not I think that I think that this is more talking about all of you guys how that past person or past people in your, in your life in general made you believe that you were ugly that you were like a monster or somebody strange that you don't deserve love and you don't deserve respect maybe I'm I know that it's many of you and maybe this is not going to be so radical for some of you but I truly believe that this is talking more about you so what is this partner going to do when both of you guys, you meet each other? I see brown eyes, green eyes. One of the two has green eyes and the other one has brown eyes. Okay, my loss. And I think that one of the two has really dark hair because I see here dark. I see dark. I see dark. And the other one is or could be hazel, dark blonde. Even I see red. So it could be a red hair or brunette as well. My spirits are telling me that this person is going to heal that wound that you come from the that you still carry from the past. I know you have done it really, really, because I see the green which represents the heart chakra. You have done a lot, a lot, a lot of work, and that's why you have been able at last to cut with the chain of your ancestors. So you are the, in reality you are the strongest of all of your family members. You are the strongest one, although many people tried so hard to convince you that you were weak, that you were a monster, that you were horrible, that you were stupid, etc, etc. Spirits are telling you that you are really strong and the person that you are attracting is somebody very strong mentally and emotionally. I think that this person lost somebody very dearest for him or her in the past and in, during the virus they have lost some people as well. And that's why they have this feeling that life is too short to be complicated with people that really want to flow in darkness. And I think all of you guys, you have started to realize that I don't deserve more darkness in my life. I don't deserve to treat myself wrong because others has tried so hard to convince me I am not worth it of love. Wow. <laughs> Wow, I'm trying not to cry because I am feeling so much love and so much beauty from all of you and from the person that you are attracting. It's curious because the spirits are telling me that both of you, you're very beautiful inside and outside, very attractive, very different. 
but one of the stu- one of the two still still f- feels a little bit ugly inside. Maybe you are a model. Maybe you are somebody successful. Or maybe he or she is an actor, an actress, or very successful businesswoman or businessman, YouTuber. But they feel ugly. I mean, they have gotten better, or maybe you have gotten better, but this is still like in your world that has never been closed completely. So this person is going to allow you, and that's why this person is going to help you at least for you to open up yourself, to not to be afraid of telling him or telling her your fears. And I think this is so powerful. How many times this happens? I think that maybe once, two, three times in a lifetime. So spirits are telling me that this person is somebody, physically he or she is very strong, okay? I think this person goes to the gym every day or they have their own gym or because of the work they have to travel or maybe because they're studying at university, but they go to, they do exercise every day. They have a very strong and very fit body. You're going to be amazed about the body that they have. They, the spirits are showing me that if you want to meet a man or a woman, he or she looks like a Roman sculpture, like an Italian sculpture. Have you been in Italy, guys? Have you seen this? Well, not only in Italy. You have seen, you, you can go to any, well, I don't know if in, you know, <laughs> in all, all around the world, but I think that there are many museums, at least here in, in Europe, that you can see these beautiful sculptures, these beautiful sculptures with such beautiful forms and lines. Some of them, they are not the typical idea of what we consider beautiful. Some of them, yes, no, but all of them, they're beautiful. And we are, all of us, we could be objective and say that those type of sculptures are beautiful. So again, I tell you that this person is always going to tell you how beautiful, how attractive you are, how strong you are, how brave you are. This type of person is going to really lift your self-esteem. <laughs> if you wake up angry or frustrated or tired in five minutes, 10 minutes, oh my gosh, your mood, it's going to be completely different. That's one of their abilities of all of them here in group number two. These beautiful soulmates and I sense in twin flames as well. I see that they have the ability of making you feeling better and better and better. They have that ability. And they don't do it with everyone, okay? They do it with you because they really love you. I sense that from day one, not second one, but from date one, the first date, he or she is going to tell you, I love you very early. And they're going to look at your eyes in a way. They're going to speak to you in a way from soul to soul. They're going to flow in a way. They're going to give you that peace. They're going, you're going to feel so much love. You're going to see so much sincerity. You're going to see so much beauty the way they talk to you. It's like they are from a different world. So it makes sense. Spirits are telling you, you wanted a fairy tale story, but in this dimension, in this lifetime, and there you go. Because you have done your work, you have done your shadow work, and that's why the night. I think that many of you, if you're not going, some of, I think that most of you guys, you're going to go out during the day, but the night will come, okay? So maybe it's going to be during the evening, or maybe you're, both of you guys, you're going to start talking, and you're going to be, feel so comfortable that you're going to continue the date. <laughs> I think that one of the two works a lot during the night. I don't know if, it, if it's because of the noise or maybe because they, right now they're working at night because they have to do it or they choose to do it. I think that one of the two, or maybe both of you guys, you are a little bit active during the night. Okay, let's go with these cards, difficulties. Jealousies from others may serve as obstacles to the success of this connection. I really don't, I don't feel this at all, but I think that this is talking more about, I, I think this is talking more about your ex or your current partner that you're going to just separate very soon or you're, th- you're thinking that you had enough. You cannot, you cannot cope anymore with this possessive, this jealous person, this I am listening psycho. Maybe some of you, I'm sorry about that you went out with a narcissist or with somebody that was not mentally very well, maybe even aggressive or through the words. I mean, somebody very, 
Yes, somebody very toxic. And I think that this is this is telling me that you had to clean that type, maybe even some of you, because you had toxic couples, or maybe you come from a family that they are jealous and they like the in in a conscious or unconscious way they judge and maybe they're a little bit jealous of other people that has more so maybe you come from that background or maybe it's talking about your ex but spirits are telling you that because of these difficulties that you passed in the past and you cleaned and you have realized okay why am i jealous or why am i really jealous or maybe i was going out with somebody so toxic that made created these realistic situations so they made my self-esteem go low they manipulated me better and i thought that i had a big problem but no i think that you're starting to realize all of you that in reality you're not jealous it's the type of people that you attracted in your life that made you believe that a new love a new chapter begins whether it is with a new partner or in a current relationship so spirits are telling you for some of you, you have already met this new person and others, this is somebody that it's very, very, very close by. I don't think it's going to be more than three months, maybe the latest six months. If you're struggling right now with your career, I am listening. This is a message for some of you, but this is going to feel like a new peacefulness, loving, romantic where you can flow, where you feel beautiful. This person is going to make sure that you feel amazing. Nothing at all like the past, nothing at all. It's completely different energies. I don't know if you can see it, guys. I can sense it because I'm connecting with the energies. And, and, the, and the love card came out. This is the only card in that deck that says love. This is pure romance. This is pure love. This is true love. And why you haven't just manifested this incredible person or you're just about to manifest it? Well, you already have manifested, but I mean, why he or she suddenly is going to appear physically in this reality, in your reality, in your life? Because you at last have given yourself a lot of love. You have given your inner child a lot of love. You have done a really loves. Mm, you have done a lot of shadow work, all of you guys, and you and hard work is paying off. I am listening. So know the warning signs of what are unhealthy connections look. So spirits are telling you that maybe you you are going to be tested. It's not that they want you to suffer with another person, but they want to make sure that you're ready for this person. So maybe somebody crosses. Mm, your path that it's very similar to your ex or to your exes or to your past prototypical type of person so be careful <laughs> okay <laughs> or maybe it's an ex that it's trying to come back be careful be careful i'm not saying that all of you guys you had very toxic ex maybe you had wonderful exes but if spirit tells me this message i have to say it. okay my loves they were they, they really want to warn many of you keep the door open Act open. Don't be so focused on a closed door that you don't see the ones which open for you. So spirits are telling you that if you haven't met this person yet, it's because your energy... Mm, I mean, I, I think that all of you guys, you have already cleaned it out, that X or Xs, but there still needs a little bit of more cleaning, okay? So you know what to do. Go to swim. That's a great... If you go to the sea, because the sea salt is amazing to clean the energy. If you go to run, if you go to do exercise, if you do meditations, if you go to nature, if you ground yourself. So help yourself. Help yourself because I really think, and I'm telling you guys, I'm being very sincere, that I see that you have cleaned, I think, 99% of that type of toxic energy. And that's why you're so close for this person and you're ready for love. <laughs> Look at that. Dancing. I think that you are going to love to dance with this person. Maybe one of the two is a professional dancer or is an actor and an actress and they know how to dance, how to sing and how to perform. Okay, my really? <laughs> and I think the spirits, they were telling me. And maybe one of the two that it's an actor and an actress when they were very young. Oh, right now they are playing the beauty and the beast or they are part of that, uh, that group. Okay, my love. Or they appeared in the movie. <laughs> okay, my sweeties. So I want to continue and I want to give you. Okay, I'm going. To, this because the spirits are telling me to shuffle the the tarot based in right away. Wow, King of Wands. So this is Fire Element, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. Okay, and again, 
Eight of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So difficulties. So spirits are telling you. Sorry, I'm going to put this here. Spirits are telling you that you have to avoid difficult people. That don't don't stress with difficult people. Avoid them. It's not worth it that you get in fight with toxic people, with your ex. Don't even react. And they teach me that lesson as well. I have just passed through a situation before recording for all of you guys and the angels were telling me, keep quiet, keep inner peace, inner peace. Don't get in that energy. So it's not worth it. And I think that you have learned the lesson and you have realized that you are not this person that many people tried, tried to make you believe that you were weak, you were not worth it of love, and you were not beautiful, and you were not smart. And you know, this, is, this was just part of your path to... And, and a lot of karma... I think that many of you, you were rejected because you were different in many of your past lives. You were, you were smarter than the media. You were, you saw more, okay? You saw more. And that's why I see here Aquarius. Maybe some of you are Aquarius, so you're embracing that energy of Aquarius of air element. You're very good at thinking really fast, but sometimes thoughts have destroyed your mind. And I think you have been working on that, and that's why... You have been working on that and this new love is coming. I see both of you guys, you're going to bring peace to one and another, to bring beauty and positivity. And this is a, he or she's going to sum, sum up to your life, not to be a minus or not to make you feel that you're a minus or you're not worth it of respect. Okay, my sweetie. And King of Wands, you are attracting somebody that is loyal, somebody that's very, very passionate, and probably he or she's working in their passion, and they're doing very well. I think that they're already successful. Maybe some of them, they are on their way to be very successful, but I really feel that they are successful. They're telling me to shuffle these ones that it's talking about their personality. Playfulness, yay! So there's going to be a lot of fun between both of you. Probably he or she has a motorbike, okay? Or they love motorbikes. And they love cleaning the house. <laughs> They're very organized. Okay. <laughs> and they like cooking as well. And engagement. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy for you. So you are going to marry this person. And again, fishes. Oh my gosh. So, and look, they're eating. Another confirmation from spirit. Today, I make the conscious choice to engage with the world in an active way. Wow. So they are going to involve, they are, they are really going to... Yes, to be part of your of of your world, and you're going to be part of of your love's world. And wow, <laughs> picnic! <laughs> Maybe in your first day you're going to go on a picnic. But again, what I was telling you guys, you're going to meet in a restaurant or in a terrace where you can have a drink or you can eat something. Wow! And during the day, but if you continue so comfortable together, you're going to. Maybe some of you end up dancing in a club or dancing in the park. I don't know. I see both of you guys talking a lot. I sense that both of you, you're going to become best friends. Really best friends. Not only a couple, but best friends. Wow. This is beautiful. Let me shuffle one of these. Oops. I sense I have to get this one. Oh my gosh. If you want to look, look how he's holding her. And if you want to meet a woman, it's going to be more or less the same. He or she's going to be very protected. Your love is going to be protected. Look how she's looking down like I am not worth it. And he's like at the back like, oh yeah, <laughs> you're worth it. Stars, you are both meant to come together and to work together to become a star if n you are not already successful or a star or you have gone viral okay my love and she's looking down maybe you're a man and you want to meet a man this is representation of the energy one of the two and i believe it has been many of you or maybe it's talking about some of them but i think it's mostly m most of you guys you come from a past that many people made you believe that you were not worth it you were not beautiful but look at him he's courageous or look at her because she's a representation of her. This person is courageous. This person is brave. This person is, is very confident. I think that you've never met somebody so confident in your life. And that confidence is going to make you feel at peace and that you can flow and that you can open up yourself. You can be yourself. You can be vulnerable. I see a lot of 
playfulness at the same time. I see a lot of trips. I think that from time to time you're going to get a bike, a car, or a train or an airplane and you're going to travel maybe close by. Sometimes far away, but I think that you're going to, both of you guys, you're going to make a lot of short trips or maybe one of the two is going to prepare a nice picnic. I think that really, if it's not you, your love cooks really well. I think that it's many of you as well. Wow, that's nice. I like it. Okay, my sweeties, I want to tell you more about the physical features. So this is talking about the skin color. Dark skin, okay. But the time to get another one. And okay, <laughs> the same like group number one. <laughs> Although she appears very pale. It could be that one of the two looks very pale in winter but can get very tan and olive skin. That's my case as well. Although I always appear very pale. If I go to the sun, to the beach, or if I go to nature to walk, I really get to a tanned olive, well, maybe not so much, but I really get tanned skin, and maybe that's the case of your person. Let's see about the height, 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 sorry. <laughs> I think that some of them, they love hiking. Average height, okay, <laughs> like the same like group number one. So if you live in a place where people are very tall, he or she's very tall. If you live in a country, in a city that people more or less are uh, short or your or your height then it is like that okay my sweetie <laughs> that's so funny it's the same cards like group number one my gosh physically active what i was telling you and it doesn't surprise us he or she goes to the gym or does exercise every day okay their body it's amazing <laughs> really amazing their body <laughs> you're going to be athlete body what i was telling you <laughs> very good body okay let's go with the hair let's get two mid length hair okay nice and long hair okay so between mid length hair and long hair i think that some of them they have been asked to cut their hair because of the new job or Maybe it's some of you, okay, if it's not them. Let's see about the color of the eyes. Green eyes, okay. We hear she's with green eyes. Let's see the confirmation. Look at that. Green eyes, nice. What I was telling you, one of the two has green eyes and the other one has brown eyes, eye sense. And dark eyes, okay. <laughs> Between brown and dark eyes, so the confirmation from spirit, nice. Okay. Let's see about the hair color. I mean, we can tell here very black one of the two and the other one blonde or hazel. Gray hair. Okay, some of them or some of you have gray hair. And this is the meaning as well that one of the two is older than the other one. Red hair. Okay, so one of the two has reddish or brunette hair. And blonde hair. Okay. So, because the gray hair, there's like dark at the, as I tell you guys, many of you, many of them, they have dark hair and the other one. So if you have dark hair, he or she has blonde hair. If you have brown, dark hair or red hair, he or she has blonde. Okay. So it's one, you know what I mean? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not explaining myself very well. It's very late here. <laughs> Let's see about the qualities. So loving, of course, we have love and loving, like group number one. Of course, he or she is a very loving person. You are, I think that both of you guys are going to fall in love really quickly. And I'm listening from spirit. It's going to, oh my gosh, too, too much. I'm listening from spirit that it's going to be love at first sight. Okay. Wow. Nice. <laughs> Spirits, not so many, please. Fashionist of fashionista, which means that he or she dresses really well. Okay. Mysterious. Okay. So this person has that vibe of mysteriousness. I mean, we can tell it here. Whether you want to meet a man or a woman, if I get this card, I see such a beautiful face, wide lips, incredible exotic eyes. Okay. I see a lot of Asian and India here as well. Nice. And I tell you, mysterious. This is somebody mysterious. And this is a representation of a man or a woman. So you are meeting somebody that, okay, loner. So right now they're single as well. And sometimes they like, they like to be alone. Okay. They're, I think that maybe they're in, introverts. 
or they recharge when they're alone and quiet. So sometimes I think that this is talking about meditation. Many times I think that daily they do meditation, yoga. I am listening to yoga as well. Pilates. I don't know if you can say in English Pilates. Professional and serious minded. So this person has a job and has a stability and this person has money. I don't sense he or she is rich, but they have more than enough money to, to live the way they want to flow. If you want to take a trip, if you need money for a surgery, they have the money. Okay. Not rich, but really good money. Good money. Okay. Because they have been saving a lot. Well, wow, that's beautiful. My angels, now we're going to continue with the letters. Okay, my sweeties, I'm going, we're going to see letters or numbers with this, <laughs> this I playing cards for kids. And we're going to see with the letters like I, like we did in the last reading. If you want to check out, guys, the previous reading to get more information. And we're going to see the signs, okay, my love, the zodiac signs. So, seven again, I am listening. One. So maybe some of them, they are 17, from 71. Two. Okay. So maybe some of you, there's a difference of one year, seven years, or two years. F. L. I am listening in San Francisco, Lima. Luan. Is it a place from Asia? I don't know. Luan. I am listening in Luan. You from Union, that both of you guys, another confirmation that there's going to be marriage. For some of you, it's going to be in one year, two years, some of you, seven years, maybe because both of you, you're very young. D, I am listening Denmark, eight, the infinite symbol of protection and abundance. And J, okay. So we have he here. Oh, sorry, I'm not showing you. J, so maybe... Mm, Joan, Juan, Juliet, Jessica, Joe, David, Daniel, Denver, I am listening, Lua, Lori, Len, Lee. Let me know, guys, in the comments so we help other people to receive the information because I'm sure you're watching more than me. Let's see about, let's see with the letters over here. I think some of you, you're going to marry in one year. I, I keep watching 12 months. E, maybe some of you are going, you're from India and you meet in India. P, Peter, Paloma. Peterson, Carlos, Charles, I am listening in New York, California, Guillermo, Ana, Amanda, Alex, Frank, they tell me to put a lot of, a lot of letters, Sara, C, C, okay, they're telling me the C, the water, Efran, Puerto Rico, I am listening. Let me know, guys, if you see any, any phrase, any city, name, because we're going to have a, like this to the rest of the group. Thank you. Thank you for doing that because many of you, you do it. Thank you. <laughs> Uranus. Okay. Some of you or both of you, you come from Uranus. I think that he or she is from Uranus, not all of you guys. Pisces. Okay. So probably he or she has Pisces. And I think that all of you guys, you have a little bit of water in your chart as well. Aquarius. Okay. I think, did I say Aquarius before? So we have air element, we have water element. 
and Capricorn and we have Earth element. Okay, my sweeties, I love it. <laughs> and my angels, the last message for all of you, my sweeties, I want to pull out another card. Let's, I want to pull this one. Chameleon spirit act as if. So spirits are telling you in order for you to attract this person, you need to act as if because that's going to help you to be successful not only in the, for this relationship but you're attracting somebody that he or she has made it because they have always act as if and i think that's an incredible advice from spirit and maybe some of them they are from south america or they are, feel very connected to south america okay my loves oh my gosh i love all of you i think i see a lot of fives as well maybe you're going to watch a lot of eights one 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 two 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 and fives okay my loves just before you see one and another i love all of you if you want to support my work giving me a like subscribing leaving me a comment and if you want any type of gemstone jewelry you have and my services to help you heal and release stuff from the past and help you manifest this person sooner you have everything down below i love you bye my sweeties you all of you so beautiful i love you Welcome, group number three, you have changed the scenery because I'm recording the next, next day and I have this beautiful pink candle for all of you. <laughs> so what this is telling me, because there's never coincidence, my, my lovelies, with the crystal quartz, I sense that your loved one is probably living in the city because I see a lot of buildings, are really high buildings, okay, my love? Could be a city like New York, London, I don't know what I'm thinking about, uh, Tokyo. <laughs> but I sense that your, your partner lives in the city. Okay, my sweethearts. But I see a lot of nature. So maybe in the future, both of you guys are going to move to nature. Or maybe you love, you prefer to live in nature. And from time to time, both of you guys are going to escape to nature to relax. Uh, because it's very important for both of you to relax because you, I think that you tend to get really stressed easily. I am listening from spirit, both of you. You are, high, you are very responsible. The spirits are telling me that you're highly responsible and sometimes you push yourselves like they push themselves too much. Does it make sense, group number three? If it doesn't resonate, choose another group. But this is what I'm listening. So, uh, romanticisms, yes, <laughs> I was going to say, and I see here pink. So... One of the two is highly, highly, highly romantic. I think that the other one is a little bit more practical. I think that they are more practical and all of you guys, you're more romantic, okay? But I think it's a beautiful mix between both of you. You're going to adjust yourselves in a nice way, in an easy and, and yes, it's going to flow. Don't worry about that. So the cards that it came out for you, a loyal guardian, a magical protector is there for you. The dogs are always related with faithfulness, with loyal. So you attract into your life somebody very, very faithful, very loyal. If you want to meet a man, he's very strong physically. Whoa. I believe that when people is going to look at your man, they're going to be a little bit impressed or I don't I don't want to say scared, but mm, I don't think not a lot of people messes up with your man because of their appearance in reality if i say the face of the dog he's very sweet he's very kind even he's very calm but the appearance physically that he gives is like whoa like be careful with <laughs> be careful with me but it's not that it's his spirit it's his physical appearance for whatever reason i think that many of them it's because of genetics others because they have built up that physical body because when they were very young, they were very, really overweight or they got tired or they had an illness that the doctors told, told many of them, maybe because of the heart, maybe because of whatever was going on, because it's many of them. The doctors told many of them that they had to lose um, a lot of weight, that they had to get strong physically. Some of them, they passed through bullying and that's why they, they, um, Yes, they spend so much, so much time to work themselves, not only to have a big body, 
but to build a constant and, and very strong mind. So that's the appearance that they have, but in reality, this is he's somebody very kind, very kind and, and very calm. It sounds that he's very calm. He's going to give you a lot of peace. And if you want to meet a woman, she's somebody like very physically, the other way around. It sounds like somebody very fragile physically. It's not that she's fragile, but she's quite thin, very slim, very petite. I am listening petite. So she's not very tall. The other way around for group number three, if you want to meet a man, he's tall and he's strong. Okay. I think that maybe he's mm, six, more than six, one, six, two, six mm, inches. Do you say inches or my loves? I am thinking because here in Spain, it's centimeters. It will be like here in Spain. I would have to say I see between 185 centimeters and, and more. And again, if you want to meet a woman, she has that appearance of being fragile, but in reality, she's very strong. Both of you, you're going to be very protective to one another. Both of you, you're going to um, take care a lot of, of one another. I think that for both of you, there's a, there's a role of parenting. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, my love, I speak better Spanish. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. <laughs> I laugh at myself. <laughs> what can I say? Um, I, the spirits are telling me that one of the figures of the parents, maybe in your case, your mom or your dad, your mom and in his or her case, it's her dad or his dad, it's missing. Some of them are, they, they did, I don't know, divorced, died, I am listening, or emotionally they were not there, or they were pushing all of you guys too much so they were in, they were not emotional available and both of you guys you had to deal with abandonment issues whether it was physically emotionally repetitively okay so that's the reason that both of you guys you are aware that you're aware of everything that you passed in the past you accept it sometimes it's not easy to realize those certain situations uh, some of you even bullying or some of you, you have children that are passing through bullying. I am listening and I'm sorry about that. But again, again, I tell you guys, if some of you, your parents and you're divorced or you're not going through a very good moment with your partner and that's why you're here. Let me tell you that if your daughter, your son, even yourself, if you work with your inner child, if you heal yourself, automatically you're giving like good energy to your children. It's like it's raising the vibration as well. So that's a way of avoiding more bullying and situations like that. I sense that some of you even you had to move out of school or out of a city or out of, out of a place because of a very toxic ex, because of bullying at school, because you could not stand anymore the neighbors. And this is something I'm passing through right now. That's why I'm living in very soon. And I'm so happy for that. Oh my gosh. So let me know in the comments if that has been happening. And that's why I'm watching the five of wands. So all of you guys, you have just finished or a very tough cycle with the five of wands. This is arguments. This is people that are vibrating really low. This is a lot of really low vibes, not nice circumstances, situations, not nice people, very problematic people, very problematic, problematic careers, very pro problematic schools for your kids. So the spirits are telling you that keep going. Do not worry because this is something part of your story. I, I am listening that it's something that had to be passed through okay mm, and i think it's a repetition of what your mom or your dad passed when they were a child mm, if you don't know about that maybe you should ask your parents because i'm sure this is a, a pattern repetition a yes a soul pattern repetition of family but do not worry because the four of of swords sorry my loves i didn't say you know that Sorry, you know that the wands, it's fire element associated always with creativity, willpower, action, and, and it's Erios, Leo, Sagittario. The swords, this is the four of swords, and swords is related with the element of Air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and it's intellect, thoughts, and ideas. So, what is this telling me is that you, both of you guys, whether you have met in the past or you haven't met or you met but you never went out with or this is somebody you knew both of you you had to stop 
many times you had to stop or oh, the universe made you stop how does the, the universe makes us stop so we do the awakening <laughs> so we react how do how does it happen when we break our foot when we break our arm when we cannot walk when we have problems in our feet when we have problems in our eyes because there's something we don't want to see when we have a lot of allergy because you are highly sensitive to stuff that it's still blocking you from the past so because it's many of you it's many of you that this is a general reading my lovelies i sense that both of you many times the universe stopped you I mean, the universe always have seen that you have a great heart, like like the love that you are attracting. Both of you have a, a great heart. And I believe there's a lot of twin flames here in group number three. Rather than soulmates, well, maybe some soulmates, but I sense more twin flames. So it makes sense why so many difficulties and why the universe many times stopped you. Why is so many times you felt sick or drained energetically and you needed to lay down many times? or you didn't sleep, or you slept a lot of hours, but you woke up really tired. This has been going on for both of you. But the spirits are telling me that at last you are upgrading your energy. You have been receiving light codes. I want to explain this just in case it has happened to many of you and you're not aware of this. They do it, or during your dreams, or if you're awake, if you have all of these abilities very developed. But normally it's when you're sleeping, when you're dreaming, or you have just woken up and... You can sense like a lot of forms, your metrical forms, they send it very quickly, okay? It's like scene, 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 different sceneries. Bam, one, two, three, four, five, six. They send the um, light codes really quickly. At least it's in my case, and I suppose it's for all of you guys as well. Sometimes it's your medical forms, sometimes it's forms we don't understand, but that's light codes. That spirits are telling me that do not worry because you have been upgraded. You are highly protected. Both of you, you're highly protected by spirit. More than the media. I have to be sincere and I'm feeling goosebumps, my loves. I think that all of you guys, you know this. Uh, many people have told you, gosh, you're so protected. Because I think that spirit have avoided really, really bad accidents. Or maybe you have recovered from a e very, very serious illness or injury that even the doctors have told you this has been a miracle and that, and i believe that this has happened to many of you or your children or to your partner so miracles are on your way you're a miracle in disguise i am listening and everything has really i know that it's not easy when we choose to clean the karma of the family i know it's not easy but you're more than ready for this and you have done it uh the spirits are reminding me my loves that do not worry because karma has been over and the same for the and, and the same for your love and if some of you you're getting back with an ex or with your twin flame and it was not the correct time back then it's because of that it was not the correct time back then it's like you were not ready and your and your person was not ready either so that's why the fool you know guys the fool this is a new beginning a new beginning with somebody from the past and a new beginning with somebody new again the dog so both of you it's very important for both of you to be faithful and loyal maybe in the past you cut it because one of the two was not faithful but it's going to be different in this time it's going to be a new beginning that person has completely changed a lot and if i'm talking about somebody in the past that you still are thinking about and you don't see any type of change this is not your real name, okay, my love? But instead, if you have met somebody from your past or an ex or somebody that you felt really attracted to and you feel that they are different, that they even look different, even younger, they look better, this is the this is a real name for you. So this is somebody, whether it's somebody new or, or from your past, like as, like, as, have, as I have just said, sorry, loves. Uh, this is a new beginning completely a new beginning and i think that you needed this i embrace the all and again this is another confirmation that both of you guys i think that when you both meet each other one of the two has just had a serious argument with a group of people with family with uh, living a toxic job, living a toxic environment, living a toxic city, living a toxic house because of neighbors. And the person that has this problem, it's so focused in living this and embracing the old, embracing the new life, 
that they are not they are or you or many of you you're not going to be aware that this person <laughs> has just arrived in your life i think this is going to be a little bit of surprise when we put the attention in something that it's making us feel worry weariness and we're not feeling at ease we don't put the attention maybe in in other stuff but i think at the same time this is going to be good for both of you stack spirits take the lead so spirits are saying that they were waiting for you to take the lead in many stuff in your life. They were waiting for you not to wait for somebody to save you, not to wait for to have the perfect timing, the perfect body, the perfect age, the perfect experience, the perfect... There's never a perfect situation to start something new. Not this relationship, nor a new job, whatever, your passion, your hobby. So spirits were, were waiting for you to, to really take the lead in your life. And when you get to this point of taking the lead and trying to solve this problem, and this is not your case, then it's the case of, of, the, of your partner. Then, in this moment, everything begins to change. I am listening. And always the fool, it's a character that, it's, that symbolizes somebody very young. Okay, I don't know if I, I told you guys, this person is younger than you or looks really young. I think that even there's a very big difference of age. He or she is quite younger, or maybe some of you, you are much older than this person. But I think it's the other way around, that for all of you beautiful souls, group number three, all of these incredible twin flames, some soulmates, they are much younger than all of you. Okay, my sweeties, let's see with this message. Ah, yes, an impulsive. This person is very impulsive. <laughs> and he's starting a new journey, a new life, okay? He's going to start a new journey, a new life with you. Trust. Transformation occurs sorry, occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. And that's why all of this, what I was telling you guys. So when you accept this, when you accept and trust divine time, and when you accept universe that it's taking care of you, that if certain situations arise, this is because you need to leave an area, a, a relationship, a friendship, a, a house, whatever. And spirits are telling you that, you can trust as well this person that both of you guys you can trust one and another because both of you you're going to be loyal protective and faithful to one and another so trust confidence so yes i think that both of you you're going to be very confident in this relationship you're not going to feel triggered you're not going to feel that you cannot trust this person. No, it sounds like a really good energy. I speak with good in intent, of course, and you're going to sense that this person really speaks to you with love. And that's why the pink, and that's why I chose, it's not a coincidence, this pink candle yesterday. And the green is the representation of the green of the, of the heart chakra. And this reminds me of Egypt, okay, my loves, of Egypt. And I'm sensing that many of you you're from Lemurian, okay? It's before Atlantis, it was Lemurian. Incredible psychic abilities, incre incredible telepathy, incredible healers. So I think that here in group number three, most of you guys, you're healers, psychics. You're, you can remember many of your past lives. You work with Akashic Records. So maybe you have your own clients and you work with Akashic Records. But I sense that all of you guys, if you're not doing Tarot, you're not a healer, you're not a psychic professionally, you would do amazing. But maybe it's not your choice and you want to use your psychic abilities for the rest of your life, which is wonderful. This is the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Wow. And be a spirit, sweet results await. So I'm going to tell you, this is coming by, uh, by surprise. I think that all of you guys, you're going to be stressed about something or you're still stressed about something. And he or she's going to appear like, you're not going to see it coming. And I know you're very psychic. I think that all of you guys, it happens to me too, I understand you. All of you guys, you're very psychic for the rest of the world. <laughs> and I think you're really, you're very good. And that's why the V, the V is related to psychics as, psychics as well, a medium. But for you, you spirits, it's like your guys does not allow you to see everything. <laughs> because they want you to focus in your stuff. <laughs> does it make sense? And number seven, so I think that you're going to start watching a lot of sevens. Maybe the number 58, it's important for some of you. Sweet results await. So spirits are telling you that this person is going to fight for you. And he is going, or he or she is going to appear by surprise. I think that one of the two is a celebrity. Because I see he's on top of a, he's sorry, he's riding a, a white horse. 
he is on top of this bird that symbolizes for me Egypt. I think that both of you are quite tall, at least one of the two is very very tall. Yes, because we said if you want to meet a woman, she's not very tall. So if you're a woman and you want to meet a woman and if you're tall, okay, she's not short. She, she's short, sorry, as I said before. But one of the two is quite tall, okay, my loves? And I think that one of the two has very black color hair, maybe some hazel tono, tones, that's why sweet results and the bee. Honey, okay, maybe a honey, or maybe honey is an important message or sign for some of you. Uh, maybe he or she's going to call you honey. <laughs> I see a lot of sweetness, sweetness before both of you. I see that this person loves to hug you. I think that they're always going to chase you to give you a hug. <laughs> Even when you're going to be uh, angry, they're going to chase you like, I'm here. And you're like, and you're, I mean, I think that you're not going to be able to, to stay angry for quite a long time with this person. <laughs> That's nice. I like it. And it could be that some of them are very blonde, okay, my loves? Yes, I see blonde here, blonde here. Hey, uh, honey, color, black. Okay, my suities. So, my sunshines. Oh, sorry, yes, and the, always the horses. Some, somebody that suddenly, when he or she arrives, everything is going to move really fast, okay? I think that both of you guys, or you're going to live together very fast, or you're going to marry very fast, even you're going to have kids or more kids very fast, okay? I sense it. And this is somebody pure of heart. We see here, white here, white here. So both of you, you're pure of heart, pure of soul. You you can trust one another. You're going to sense it very quickly, okay, my sweetest? Trust your intuition, come on. Let's see about the color of the skin. Okay, one of the two has light skin and we and it, like this character of the form. And they tell me to get this one. I'm very dark skin, okay? So yes, it makes sense. Dark and very pale the other one. Nice. Let's see about the height. Height? Height. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have to take classes, guys. I was born in England. It's not an excuse. They didn't speak to me in English, but I have to learn English myself. That's why part of it I want to go to London to 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 improve my English. Short, okay? So one of the two is shorter than the other one, okay? Average body. Well, here we have the body, okay? Thin body. Average body, okay? I have to tell you the I have to tell you the truth, guys. Uh, I see here thin body, average body for some of them, but I see a very strong body. I have to tell you because I see it very clearly. Let's see about the hair. Is it curly, straight, short hair? Some of them. And curly hair, okay. And straight hair. So we have straight hair, curly hair, and some of them, they have short hair. I think that the short hair, it's, it's talking about the curl. The curly, the curly hair, you know, the curve, do you say it like that? Curve, the curly, it's quite short, okay? But I think that most of them, they put the hair straight. Let's see about the hair color. Blonde hair, so another confirmation from spirit. Black hair, what we were speaking about before. And brown hair, so honey. Honey brown, blonde, black hair. Okay, I think this is talking, if you have blonde hair, well, maybe that person has black hair or honey, brown hair, okay? Or the other way around. And let's see more about the personality characteristics. Okay, playful. So, and, and we, I, did, I forgot about that. The dogs loves to play. <laughs> so this person is very playful, very kind. Again, it appears kind. With this card, it says here, what did it say kind? I remember that I, I saw kind. I speak with good intent. Yes, this person is very kind, very good person like you. Happy. So both of you guys, you're going to make one and another happy. Good for you. Average height. Okay. I got it mixed here. Okay. <laughs> so some of you, you, this person is average height. Okay. Okay. The thing is because when I'm doing general readings, as it's not a private one, I, in this, I want to pull out several choices because just to pull out one choice, I think it's, 
it's limiting a lot. And I know all of you guys, come on, in group number three, you're very psychic. You know which messages are for you or not. Popular, as I told you guys, I think that many of them, they are celebrity. Contemplative, so, oops, sorry, sorry, my loves. So this person loves to observe you. He or she loves to look at you. They think that you're beautiful. I'm listening to the song. You're beautiful, you're beautiful, it is true. You know, guys, I, I feel so embarrassed when singing. <laughs> Talkative, yes. Yeah, so the, a lot of conversations between both of you guys are professional. This person has their own business or is working in their passion or is working for somebody else. Okay, my loves, I love it. Okay, let's go with these messages. And later we will go with the letters. It's been really interesting, this last pick a card. I sense it like more... Well, let me know, guys, if you sense it too, if you have seen my previous ones. I sense it like deeper. Soulmate, okay. So, yes, this person is your soulmate. Your connection is sacred. Yeah, okay. So, maybe some of you, it's a soulmate. But I sense a lot of twin flames. Pay attention to red flags. Know the warning signs of what are unhealthy connections look like. Be aware of that because maybe somebody that it's... That it's paying attention to you is not good for you. I think that all of you guys, suddenly you're going to feel that you attract people a lot because you have a higher vibration right now. You have received light codes. You are becoming a magnet like the honey that it's a, a magnet for the bees. Uh, be aware of toxic people, okay? Because do not spend time or give your attention or give your heart to somebody that is not worth it of you. And difficulties, jealousies from others may serve as obstacles to the success of this connection. I don't think that, but I have to be sincere. I think that many people are going to feel envy with this connection. I don't think it's the first time that people feel envy towards all of you guys. I think this is something that you're used to it, if I'm being sincere. And maybe that's why, oh, well, I'm not wearing right now uh, the bull's eye bracelet and tiger of the eye or tourmaline which is good very good for protection no but i really sense that all of you guys you're used to that even inside of your family some family members feel jealous of you uh even f friends they feel you can tell i mean how can we know that somebody feels jealous towards us because we know when we are happy about something and we want to share our experience with somebody and we know I mean, you can tell just observing and contemplating as it says here that they are not really being very happy and you're not even be, you are not showing being happy because you know they are not happy. You know what I mean? So because all of you guys, you're so intuitive. I don't think really, I don't think no one is going to do anything silly because both of you guys, you are highly protected to one and another. But it's good that spirit tells you that some people are going to, f to feel jealousy. If he or she's a celebrity or you want to become a celebrity, you know, guys, how this goes on. More people watches you, contemplate, contemplation, more people watches you. And some people feel envy because they don't do their personal work and they prefer to spread toxicity and instead of being brave and doing their inner work. And that's not your case, of course, and not your love's case. But be aware of that. Deception. Someone is wearing a mask in this relationship. Okay. I don't think this is talking about this person. I really think that some of you, you're focusing right now on somebody that... Look, the spirits have been very clear with many of you. If you right now are going out with someone you have just met, be aware. I know that when you are with this person, whether it's somebody new of your, your past... You are not going to have a weird sensation in your body like something is missing. Something is missing. I don't see something. I, come on, guys. You're very psychic. So some of you, if somebody is like trying to go out with you, be aware. Sometimes they test us before we, we have that deep connection with the one. You know how it works. Come on, guys. I know many of you, you are doing the same like me. And you're enough. The person you are meant to be will will love the will with sorry oh my god sorry sorry guys it's, sorry <laughs> the person you're meant to be with will love you the way you are you don't need to change of course this is the person you're going to sense it but mm, 
Be aware of people that are jealous, that feel envy towards you. Be aware of maybe even an ex that is, is still in love with you and is not going to be happy for you and is going to try to do something weird. And if it's not an ex, somebody that is obsessive with you, be aware. Come on, all of you guys, you're very psychic. You are very psychic. And I don't think this is something a surprise for many of you. Okay, and past lives. You have known this person before. It is soulmate from a past lifetime. So a lot of soulmates, but I tell you guys, if I'm wrong and it's not a twin flame, I feel I am watching twin flames. Then it's a connection of soulmates that it's like, it seems like twin flames. So the connection is deeper than the media of soulmates. Okay. But I'm watching. I have to be sincere. Although it doesn't come out with the cards. I'm watching a lot of twin flames and soulmates as well. Okay, my sunshine. <laughs> I'm so happy for all of you. <laughs> Oh, my loves, I am receiving, can you believe it, my loves, I'm connecting with all of you and receiving your love. I um, I passed through a very difficult situation and that's why I'm talking like this. You know that I'm very sensitive with energy as well. But now I'm feeling better and I'm, and I'm recovering and I've, I'm sensing the energy of all of you guys. So really thank you guys because your souls are sending me the energy and, and, and appreciate it. Wow, reunion, three of cups, success, reunion of coming from past lives or from your past or somebody new that you feel he or she has always been in your life. I mean, both of you guys, you're going to feel like at last, at last. I cannot believe it. So many difficult situations in family work with people. Oh my gosh, with money, health. And it's like, wow, at last. Yes, and I'm watching again the triangle that reminds me of Egypt and alchemy, okay? So I think that all of you guys, you are natural alchemist. You're very good at manifesting. All of you guys, you're very good at manifesting. I hope you are aware of that. You're very good at manifesting. And I think that because of the dolphin has come out, I think that the dolphin is, is one of your animal totems. The dolphin, they say, it's the animal that uses more percentage of their brain. So that's what I sense with both of you guys that when we come here, when we return to reincarnate again, you know, this is a reminder if some of you, you're not aware of that or aware of that. When we come back again, we can return to planet Earth to live this human experience, but we forget who we are. I know many of you, you remember many past lives, but maybe others you haven't, or maybe you dreamt with those past lives, but you were not aware that you were remembering your past lives. And it has no, it's not easy when, when we don't know exactly, but right now you're conscious right now you're awakened and you are going to begin to be better and better and better. And that's why I embrace the all. So you're going to have it, everything. So I did not realize the stars, one of both of you, your star sets, one of you is a celebrity, uh, and the triangles. I think that you are receiving a lot of triangles and stars in your life, this symbol. Or you, you tend to paint it, or maybe your logo has one of these forms, or your next logo, or your future logo. So this is amazing. Wow, reunion. Maybe from a reunion of school or university or old colleagues, you meet this person again, or then, or the first time. Stability. Wow, this is a strength. So again, I tell you, if you want to meet a man, he's very strong physically and mentally. And if you want to meet a woman, she's very thin. She's like petite. I keep <laughs> listening. Petite. Petite is like cute, small. Does it mean that? I believe so. And uh, he's somebody that it's going to provide you. Look, this is somebody very that's going to provide you stability. This is a provider whether it's a man or a woman, you are talking in your life a provider. Look how he's opening and all of these fish is coming out. So this is somebody that it's always going to give you, give you, give you. It's, I think that they're, too, they're too much of a giver. I'm not saying that that's bad, but I think that the, when they recognize you again, or when you both guys, you try again and you don't want to miss this opportunity or it's the first time in this lifetime. One of the two, and I believe it's all of them, whether it's a he or she, they are going to do a lot to have you happy. <laughs> a lot to have you happy and to make you smile and to make jokes. I think that they they are, uh, in that sense, it's a way of protecting you as well. 
Wow, I'm feeling a lot of goosebumps when I'm seeing this. And I think this is beautiful. And that's why many of many people are going to feel jealous of this connection because both of you, they can tell, both of you, you're a very strong couple together. And not there are not many couples like that. I, I mean, let me know in the comments, but I don't usually see couples like this. Normally when I go out, not with all of the couples, but most of the couples, they're sitting in front of one another with a mobile, they're not looking at one another. It's, for me, it's so sad. <laughs> So this is not the type of relationship that you're going to have. Okay, my sweetest. Wow, another, oh my gosh, two, vision, two of swords, vision. So both of you guys, you are, going, you are having visions of one and another. You're going to have a vision of the future together very early. Things are going to move really fast. And both of you, you're going to be in the same level of consciousness of the spirituality. Both of you have been working yourselves more or less the same. I even think that the same techniques that both of you use to heal yourself, you have used it. Or if not the same, 80-90% of them, I think they are the same. Wow. And this is the seven of swords. A lot of water element and fire element, which is Entereza is like somebody that has his own stuff well created well established so this is somebody very stable this is somebody that is very complete very focused very centered very centered this is somebody very focused okay and again i sense somebody very strong and i think that all of you guys you're going to like that and this is propositions yay again oh my gosh another night of cups so he or she is going to propose you very early, very early, okay, because I even see some woman proposing. I see both of you guys marrying very, very, very early, <laughs> very early. Look at the back. This is the queen of wands, passion. So a lot, a lot, a lot of passion, <laughs> a lot of sex. Take vitamins, my loves. Take vitamins. <laughs> okay, my sweeties. So time to let go and nothing is wasted. And I think as I tell you guys, somebody, some of you, you're going out with somebody that's not good for you. Let it go. And nothing is wasted. So everything that you have passed through has been preparing you for this. Amazing. So my sweeties, let's go with the letters, shall we? And if you see anything that I don't see, let me know, my loves. Okay. Okay. I am listening Vienna, Venice, Acapulco, India, Shanghai, Madrid, California, Canada, Alaska. I'm listening. I don't know if you want to go to Alaska. Okay. This is an O. U. Okay, you three, okay, maybe some of you you're going to meet in three days, three weeks, three months. Only three months you, you married one and another. I see here, Ness, Sylvia, Sylvine, Sarah, Sam, Anna, <laughs> Anne, <laughs> Carlos, Charles, Bruno, Vanessa, Victory. So there's going to be victory in this relationship. Vender, Javier, Joan, Eric, Sean, Luisa, Luis, David, Daniel, we have here Anna, my name, San Francisco, I have listened, Colorado, I am, I am reading here. I don't have an eye, no, but I'm reading here viajes. So some of you here, this, imagine there's an eye. Some of you, you're going to meet through trips or you're going to make a lot of trips together. Okay. I see viajes is in Spanish, which it's so funny. It says my name and viajes and I'm going to travel soon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Barcelona, I'm listening. Venice, Vienna. Lille. Jane, sister, maybe one of your sisters is going to marry and you meet there. 
Dolores. I think that some of you, you're working with Dolores Cannon. She passed away and she was very interesting. Oh my gosh. And then let us see my loves. My loves. Could you tell me in the comments if I'm sure all of you guys, you're going to see something I don't see. Eduardo. Erin. Come back. I am listening. Aquarius. Okay. Aquarius. He or she may be Aquarius. Air element again. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And areas. A lot of fire that appeared before. And water elements. A lot of cups. My sweeties. I'm so excited for all of you. And I want to shuffle the last card. And it says, take a walk. So some of you. You could meet when you go to take a walk. Yes. I think that you're going to receive. If you are not receiving visions of this person, you are going to start receiving a lot of visions. Really, guys, you have received a lot of light codes and you have been upgraded with your abilities. My lovelies, let me know in the comments. I love you so much. If you want some piece of my gemstone yearly, you have everything down below. And I charge it with the energy. I'm very good at that. You have the rest of my services to heal your inner child with the webinars, the symbols. I love you so much. Mwah, kisses. Give me a like if you have liked it. Bye, my angels. Bye.